بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو دا ماڈیول آف کانویکس آپٹیمائزیشن کورس سو وی آر لکنگ ایٹ ڈفرینٹ کلاسز آف آپٹیمائزیشن پرابلمس پریویسلی وی ہیو اسٹڈیڈ لینئر پروگرام وی ریویوڈ اٹس جیومیٹرک انٹرپریٹیشن اینڈ وی آلسو ٹاک اباؤٹ لینئر پروگرام فار کپل آف ایپلیکیشنس دس کورس ماڈیول از اباؤٹ دا کوڈریٹک آپٹیمائزیشن پرابلمس ٹوڈے وی ول اسٹڈی دا فارمولیشن آف کوڈریٹک پروگرام اینڈ کوڈریٹکلی کنسٹرینڈ کوڈریٹک پروگرام We will also talk about the geometrical interpretation of each class of the optimization problems. Finally, we will review a couple of related examples. So what is a quadratic program? A convex optimization problem is referred to as a quadratic program if objective function is convex quadratic and constraint functions are fine. Let's look at the mathematical formulation of a quadratic program. So we want to minimize a quadratic function so f naught objective function maps from r n to r and it is it has three terms r is just a scalar q transpose x as a fine and this term half x transpose px so this is a quadratic term and therefore this f naught is is quadratic we also require f naught to be convex So what are the conditions on P, Q and R that make this function convex? So we require this P to be positive semi-definite for this function to be convex. And this simply stems from the fact that the Hessian of the objective function is given by P and we require this P to be positive semi-definite such so that f naught is convex let's look at the constraint so we want to minimize a quadratic function subject to a fine inequality constraints and a fine equality constraints so so we have a fine constraint functions let's look at the interpretation of a quadratic program So we want to minimize a quadratic objective function over a feasible set. What's the feasible set here? So feasible set here is x such that ax is less than or equal to b and gx is h. And this is this is a polyhedron in fact so we can say qp is minimization of a quadratic objective function over a polyhedron this can be seen graphically as so this polyhedron represents a feasible set quadratic function can be represented by these lines so each of these curve represent the values of x for which f naught has the same value and if we see so the value of the beta function decreases in this direction and the value of x that satisfies the constraints and for which f naught of x has the minimum value is in this in this example will be somewhere here so this is our optimal x x star and uh, here we can also so this vector this is the negative of the gradient at at our optimal point so we, we summarize qp is the minimization of a convex quadratic function over polyhedron now we talk about quadratically constrained quadratic program if the objective function and inequality constraint functions are convex quadratic we refer to the optimization problem as quadratically constrained quadratic program let's look at the mathematical formulation of a qc qp so we want to minimize a quadratic objective function so to, so we also require this function to be convex so we require p to be positive semi definite 
subject to inequality constraint functions which we require to be quadratic and affine equality constraint functions since we also require inequality constraint functions to be convex so we require each of this pi belong to a set of positive semi-definite matrices what is the interpretation of QCQP? So we are minimizing a convex quadratic function over a feasible set. And that feasible set is defined by inequality constraint functions and equality constraint functions. So if we look at the equality constraint functions, so, so have a fine equality constraint and these are fine, these constraints represent hyperplanes and each inequality constraint function so for each i this represents an ellipsoid so we can say we have a feasible set is an intersection of m number of ellipsoids and hyperplanes so in qcqp we minimize a convex quadratic function over a feasible set that is an intersection of ellipsoids and hyperplanes. Before we review some examples, we note here that every linear program is a quadratic program and every quadratic program is quadratically constrained quadratic program. If P1, P2 up to Pm, if all of these matrices are zero, QCQP becomes QP and if P is also zero then QCQP becomes LP or we can say a linear program is a subset of quadratic program and which is a subset of quadratically constrained quadratic program. Let's look at a couple of examples. The first example is in which we want to minimize a linear function with respect to quadratic constraint. We want to minimize C transpose X and a fine function, a linear function. Subject to a quadratic constraint. Where this matrix A is a positive definite. So it belongs to S and plus plus so for this simple problem we can even find analytical solution by carrying out a very simple substitution x is equal to a minus 1 by 2 y if we carry out this simple substitution we can rewrite an optimization problem as C transpose A minus 1 by 2 Y subject to Y transpose Y less than or equal to 1. So, so now we have a very simple problem in hand that we want to minimize a linear function and we want to find y and y can be anything that's inside equilibrium ball because this this constraint represents an equilibrium ball or in fact a unit norm ball so let me rewrite the objective function in in this form that minimize a minus 1 by 2 c transpose y and we can choose y uh, inside the current ball and what we know that y that minimizes this objective function is given by negative of this vector divided by because it has to be unit norm divided by the norm of the vector itself 
so so this y minimizes this objective function and uh, we can find x by back substituting y x would be or call it x star optimal x that minimizes objective function x star would be given by a minus 1 by 2 minus a minus 1 by 2 c divided by a minus 1 by 2 c oh, and just given by minus a inverse of c divided by a minus 1 by 2 c let's look at one more example least squares problem in which we want to minimize a simple least squares objective function right over here x belongs to rn and a can be a matrix let's say n cross n and b belongs to rm and if we look at this optimization problem this is in fact a quadratic program without any constraints because we can always write this ax minus b Euclidean norm square as ax minus b transpose into ax minus b which can also be written as x transpose a transpose a into x minus 2 b transpose a into x plus b transpose b and if we look at this so a since a transpose a is positive semi-definite so this is convex quadratic and therefore the optimization problem this minimization problem is QP so in fact for this simple QP we can have an analytical solution as well analytical solution to this minimization problem is given by that x star is given by a dagger B where this this is this is referred to as a pseudo inverse of A And this pseudo inverse is is given by a transpose a inverse a transpose when m is greater than or equal to n which is also referred to as a left pseudo inverse and a transpose into a transpose sorry a into a transpose inverse when m is less than or equal to n in fact when m is equal to n the pseudo inverse is simply a inverse provided a is non-singular let's look at one more example constraint least squares here we again want to minimize a least squares objective function subject to very simple linear constraints on the variable x subject to x is this is generalized inequality that x is greater than or equal to some l and less than or equal to some u here this x l and u so they are in rn and we have generalized inequality here so this is not uh, an ordinary inequality this is a generalized inequality so these constraints are also referred to as box constraints as they are limiting the values x can take so if we if we have these simple constraints 
uh, we, we do not have analytical solution to this problem and we use numerical algorithms to solve constraint least squares problem let's look at one more example linear program with random cost so in general we have a linear program that we want to minimize a linear function subject to affine inequality constraints and affine equality constraints so this c transpose x uh, is referred to as a cost function which we want which we want to minimize this says c transpose x is a cost function this c variable represents cost because this c determines the cost function so in some cases we do not have a perfect knowledge about c or we can see or we can say c has some randomness and we have some knowledge about c uh, for example what we know is that we know that what is the expected value of c that's denoted by c bar and we know the expected value of c minus c bar into c minus c bar transpose and that is given by a matrix sigma which is the covariance matrix so what we know about c is that c is random we know the average mean value of c and we know the variance of c so this random cost appears in many applications for example we formulated linear program for the electricity supply problem in which the power is supplied from the power generation sources to the consumers among those power sources we had hydro thermal and solar sources of power the cost of power generation varies randomly around the mean value due to variations in the efficiency of these power generating sources so the question here is how can we incorporate the randomness of c in an optimization problem so how can we incorporate randomness of c one way to incorporate randomness of c in an optimization problem is that we want we minimize the expected value of the cost function and its variance so we want to minimize expected value of cost function and at the same time we also want to minimize the variance of the cost function and we can combine the expected value of the cost function and the variance of the cost function by taking a linear combination of these two or we can say we what we want is we want to minimize expected value of c transpose x which is nothing but c bar transpose x so c bar transpose x plus variance of let's say plus some variance, some variable gamma times variance of c transpose x this variable gamma is greater than or equal to zero so this sets the relative values of variance and expected value and this is this is referred to as a risk aversion parameter so gamma is a risk aversion parameter what is the interpretation of this linear combination of c bar transpose x and variance c transpose x 
so in fact we are now minimizing a risk sensitive cost so this is a risk sensitive cost we allow increase in expected cost to achieve decrease in the cost variance we can express this variance of c transpose x in terms of sigma such that we can write variance of c transpose x given by expected value of c transpose x minus expected value of c transpose x whole square which we can also express as expected value of c transpose x minus c bar transpose x into c transpose x minus c bar transpose x and which we can also express as x transpose expected value of c minus c bar into c minus c bar transpose into x and this is simply x transpose sigma x so with this formulation i can formulate my optimization problem in which we want to minimize c bar transpose x plus gamma x transpose sigma x so a risk sensitive cost subject to the constraints we had that is which is ax is less than or equal to b and gx is equal to h and we note here that the objective function is convex quadratic since sigma is positive semi-definite by definition this is convex quadratic and the constraint functions are affine and we can say that a linear program with random cost can be formulated as a QP a quadratic program I assume now we are trained to identify and formulate quadratic optimization problems we we'll stop here and continue in the subsequent module so in the next module we will learn second order cone programming socp that is another very important class of convex optimization problems should you have any questions or comments please do not hesitate to contact me via email and i will be holding office hours as i announced in the email